In this video, you are going to learn about the drawing tool called a bars pattern. We're going to show you why this tool matters and how you can use it to effectively look for historical trading action or repeating patterns or just general research. Now, to get started, if you hover your mouse over the forecasting and measurement tools section, then click to expand the menu, you're going to see bars pattern. When you're ready, click. Now, you know you've got this tool activated because check it out. It's lit up blue here. We've got it selected. And the first thing you want to do is click on a starting point. So what I'm going to do is actually try to get the exact pattern from this high to this low to this high. So what I'm going to do is click the starting point here. Then I'm going to move my mouse. As you can see, the line is literally attaching to each specific candle or bar. That's why it's called bars pattern to this candle right here. Then I'm going to click again. And just like that, I have now literally copied this price action. And now I can paste it wherever I want on the chart. So you might be asking, well, why does that matter? The reason why this matters is because, for example, check out this price action here. We've got a down move. Well, I'm curious, if the market were to rebound, how could that rebound look? I'm going to go ahead and utilize this first half of this drawdown, essentially copy and paste it, onto this drawdown to see if we get a similar rebound, what it looks like. So let's go ahead and do that and see how this lines up. I'm going to click and hold to drag this tool. I'm going to place it right in this area. Let's see. I think this is the top point. Perfect. Now, as you can see, that is rather fascinating because you may be thinking, for example, that, you know, here's the low, put in the low, and we're just going to march back higher. But actually, if you use bars pattern to look at the previous down move, right? So this was the high down move, then we went back up. Well, you can see actually that there might be a longer journey to this drawdown if it follows the historical precedent from this previous drawdown, which would mean we might get ourselves a quick bounce here, but we might actually just test a new low here and then eventually go higher. So this is why the bars pattern tool is so powerful and dynamic because of the ease of use of copying and pasting these specific patterns. Now, as usual, keep in mind, you can favorite this to have it added to your floating toolbar, which now shows all of your favorite drawing tools. And I can just access it at any point and I can copy specific movements, move them wherever I wish. And you can do this across all symbols and all asset classes that essentially trade. And the reason why it's called bars pattern is because it also works on every time frame. Now, I just did this analysis on a daily chart. Watch me go to a minute chart. So if you're a really short term trader, wow, look at this. We've got some action going on right before our eyes. Well, you can still utilize the bars pattern tool on this one minute chart. So if you think it's going to bounce here and do a somewhat similar pattern to this, well, you guessed it. Click once your starting point, find your any point, click again. Let's place it right here. And this effectively would be the trade you would now be getting ready for or positioning for. I'm not saying that this is you know, going to happen by any means, but it's a way you can prepare and plan and research by using prior price history. And it all starts with the bars pattern tool. Now, it's also important to note that if you are on different chart types, it will still work accordingly. So if I go to the line chart, click bars pattern, click this starting point, click this ending point, I'm still going to get this pattern. Now you might be saying, well, those are still bars. I see the bars here. Well, guess what? You can customize these bars to your exact needs. Now I'm going to switch this back to a candle chart simply because we've got some really fast drops going on here. And I'm going to double click on this pattern. Now, what you see here is the capability to change the color. So if you have a certain chart type or chart color, you can click through the different colors to create a bars pattern, copy and paste to the color of your needs. If I click white, I've got this white bars pattern. Now, what's really important about this tool is that you know what mode means, because effectively you want the bars to show the data you want to see. So you have, I have high low bars selected here, HL high low. That means that I'm getting the high, this is the high, 
and the low and everything in between it filled in. So it's giving me the complete trading range. But you know, that may not be as interesting to you as it is to me. So you can effectively do open and close. Look at how the bars change because now it's just the open and close of each bar. Where did it open? Where did it close? All the other price history doesn't matter so much. You can do the line. You can turn it into a line by close, a line by open, a line by high, a line by low. You can even do a line by high low. So that would be the high and the low. Here's the high, here's the low, but then divided by two. So you get an average price. So let's go back to the line chart because this is really exactly why I wanted to show you this feature. Let's say we've got this drop here. Well, let's find the, let's find another drop. There was just a drop earlier in the day. Let's just go from the, we're going from the start of the drop to the bounce. And now we're going to basically try to find a, a pattern if this were to continue. And the beautiful thing here that we just did is we are effectively matching now a line chart with a line chart. So if you think that this sort of pattern is just going to repeat throughout the day, drop, light bounce, drop again, light bounce, drop again. Well, we've just mapped it out with the bars pattern tool. Now we can really visualize it. So here we have the current price action. If we're wanting to trade this or think about it, maybe we're going to settle down for a bit next few minutes, and then the drop continues before the next sort of rally up. But the key thing here is that I've also made it into a line. So it can be a copy and paste of a line to match your line chart, right? I have a line chart selected. If I have an area chart, same sort of same sort of feature. I can have it match this area chart. Maybe you want to connect the points directly to see what could happen. Well, just like that, you can move it and do that. Maybe you think the lows is, is before the market close is going to be 5,800 before bouncing into the close. Well, remember, if you double click on this specific bars pattern and go to go to mode, you can change that by clicking one of the line features. Now, it's pretty important that I walk through what this means so you know exactly what you're getting here. If you click line close, it means every minute on this line where it's connecting, right? Minute, 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 minute. It's being connected by the closing price of that specific line. Now, if we were on a daily chart, Let's make sure we redo this. If we're on a daily chart and we did the bars pattern, let's do it from this high to this low. Maybe we think it's just going to happen again. History repeats. Well, now each point that's connecting is the close of the day. So we double click, line close. But maybe the close doesn't matter as much to you. Maybe you prefer just see the highs. You can see how the line changes. Now it's just creating a line that is connecting the highest points of each day and showing that to you. But what's particularly popular and oftentimes informational are features that sort of get you an average. So the high and low of each day divided by two. So now you have a line copy and pasted of the previous down move right here on your chart showing the high and low divided by two. And recall this works across all symbols and asset classes. If you go to BTCUSD, click index, go here, click bars pattern, click your starting point, click your ending point. You've now got that pattern right here as a, and as a line. You could do this on Forex. Any chart that has specific bars on TradingView, this tool is ready and capable for your research. And as a reminder, when you go to candlestick charts or even, for example, bar charts, it probably is going to be more helpful to not use a line but to actually use the bar capability. So we have a line, double click. Let's go ahead and do high, low bars. So we get the highs and lows and have it just as such. Now it's quite important that I do talk about mirrored and flipped, but they are just what they sound like. So for example, a, a really interesting way to use mirrored is effectively if you want to look at that move in the mirror as if it was mirrored on itself. You, you held your chart up to a mirror and you've got this sort of reversed look of what that move is. Well, you can do that with that specific feature mirrored. Now, the reason why that's interesting is because maybe rather than saying this move is going to continue downward in the exact same fashion, you might say, actually, this move is going to continue upward in the exact same fashion. And you can do mirrored. 
But if you would prefer, you can also flip it as well. Now, flipping it is really interesting because what flipping it is doing is it's taking the most recent price action and flipping it to the front and the earliest price action and flipping it to the back. Now, that's just sort of a sort of interesting mental process of maybe you think it's going to effectively work almost in reverse, not necessarily mirrored, but just in reverse. And you can do that by flipping it entirely. By the way, you can also combine them. You can flip it and then mirror it. So you can really get some interesting anecdotes here from these checks. It's going to come down to your research and what you're looking to accomplish with this tool. But ideally, in this video, you learned all of the capabilities and features of the bars pattern tool, how to use it and what's possible. And lastly, the final thing that I really should ensure I remind everyone of is you can extend the bars pattern as well. So depending on the type of chart you're looking at, maybe you're copying a one minute pattern to a daily chart. Well, you can extend it. So watch this. In fact, I'll do that right now. One minute. Maybe you believe in fractals. We can go here, bars pattern, click the top, click the bottom. Okay, we're on a one minute. Let's go ahead and copy this. We got it, copy. Let's go to a daily chart. So maybe we think there's some sort of fractal event. Let's now paste it. And now let's really extend and make this one minute chart a whole lot larger so that it fits on a daily chart. Now you're effectively doing fractal research. You have taken the one minute move, maximized it on a daily move, and have essentially said this smaller move is a representation of the larger move. So nevertheless, you may find this all very interesting. Perhaps, by the way, you may think it's the other way around. Maybe you, maybe you mirror it. So now it's actually going like this into an epic bull market, all thanks to those last few minutes. But the point is you have these capabilities with the bars pattern tool. Go give it a try. Go get your hands dirty. Let us know what you think. If you want any features with this tool, please be sure to reach out and tell us. And we just may build those features for you. We read the comments quite a bit. We go through all of your comments and feedback, and we listen very closely. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe as well and check out all of our 300 plus educational videos and content and articles right within our help center. See you soon.